I'm Lee West. I'm a PhD student. I just finished my first year of my program at the University of Washington. We are in Botswana near the Okavango Delta and I am doing my dissertation on how climate change and particularly drought affect large carnivore behavior and space use in this area. So working with Professor Abrams has been amazing. Her research, of course, was a huge part of why I chose to work in her lab. I wanted to do something that felt um, grounded in ecological theory, but also that could hopefully have real world impact for both wildlife and people. And so when I was looking for a graduate program, her lab tied all those themes together really beautifully. Um, and so that's how I ended up here. We spend a lot of time every day with the animals and taking behavioral data of lions or wild dogs, but a big part of the job is also related to vehicles. So because when you're out in the field in Africa, there's lots of big game around. There's elephants and buffalo, which are dangerous, or hippos, in addition to the carnivores that we're studying. And so we can't just be walking around. So we spend all of our time in Land Rovers. So it's been a pretty steep learning curve. Part of that was just learning how to drive a manual transmission car, being from America where that's not, um, <laughs> that's not common. Tire punctures are really common, so you really quickly have to learn how to replace a tire in the field. I've been here for a little bit over three weeks and I've changed, I think, four tires. And our vehicle has good tires, so that's like, that's, you know, that's doing pretty well. So many other things can go wrong with, with the engine or with many parts of the car. So you really kind of have to learn your way around the vehicles pretty quickly and learn how to do maintenance. So on days when I'm not in the field or you know doing data entry, I'm often spending time in the workshop with Alan, our mechanic, to learn just at the basic level what at first what all the parts are and then what to do when they break. <laughs> Probably my favorite thing about Africa and my favorite thing about fieldwork are the same, which is just having the incredible opportunity to spend so much time with wild animals. You know, I think the opportunities we get to just feel like you're just so removed from life back home and getting to these animals in their natural habitat is amazing. But I think in terms of doing fieldwork in general, my other favorite part is the community. I think that field camps are really often very small groups of people who work very hard and spend, you know, sometimes 24 hours a day together. And I think you form really special bonds with people. And also I think a, a tenant of, of what I've learned doing field work is that everyone deserves respect. You know, some people you'll think really similarly to and become really close to, and that's really special. And some people will expose you to worldviews that you haven't encountered before, and that's great too. So I think the, the people is a, are a really big part of why I love field work, both socially um, and kind of getting to know people on a personal level as well as professionally and kind of having a really collaborative scientific network that you build.